back let's see if i can move that microphone a little better i'm sitting in a weird position because motion controls it tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity the likes of which would never be seen again one dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power, protected by her grace that went away really fast. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. She was the might of the ultimate power that the Old Ones placed in it to care of the goddesses. What? The pr to prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands. The goddesses gathered the ultimate... <laughs> the surviving humans on that cropping of Earth. <laughs> Why did I say ultimate? <laughs> she sent it skyward beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds. Some kind of skyward sword of some kind. Anyway, while the human with the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. Was there like a struggle or anything? Seems like she just took care of everything. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now a new legend, bound to this great story, stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand. Gelfling. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just... Oh. You're doing this whole... Like, story of the world monologue at the beginning. And then... You... <laughs> it's like the specific tone of like the new stage and the new cycle crossed with like the wind instruments. I'm like, you're just, you're just making me think of my favorite movie now. <laughs> That's all I can think about half the, half the intro. Neat. So with this one, we're going to be all caught up. For those that don't remember the beginning, this, also, this whole journey started with the uh, 
me playing Breath of the Wild, which apparently broke the goddamn dam, and then Patreon decided over the course of the next few years that we're gonna play every single 3D Zelda game. And that's what happened. Uh, and here we are. We're out of 3D Zelda games, basically, until they make the next one. And that comes full circle, because I think that's going to be a sequel to the Breath of the Wild or something like that. I've lost track. I'm, I'm, I'm game for it. I think a lot of people would be happy if we got, like, a Breath of the Wild, but with, like, full-size dungeons, basically. That was, like, the primary complaint people had at the time. Ah! Uh, why do I always forget to have a name prepared for when I get here? Because I put, like, pressure on myself. Shit. Okay, I've got one. I've, I've, I've got one. I've got an idea. Boop, 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 boop. Uh... Oop. Go over here. This feels weird. Can I just... No, you can't just use the joystick. Of course. Alright. His name's gonna be Box. Not Bo. Box. And... It means something, but I'll explain it later. Like, like last time, I'll let it be a mystery that people can try to solve. I think I've seen that kind of bird before. Yeah. I think the real life ones are just gray, but yeah, they more or less look like that. <laughs> Rise, Box. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny. And it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Box. <laughs> what? Oh, did it just like scare me awake? That's a horrible way to wake up. An intruding giant bird. <laughs> Alright. That went better than expected. Last time I saw that in the game, a child got vored and kidnapped, and then woke up in a different world. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Box. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. What? Zelda Zelda? <laughs> 
I guess we're not doing the whole mystery thing this time. Where she's secretly somebody else. Whoa, that is a full on-screen Wiimote. Okay. Oh, hey, that's the stamina meter that they used in, in Breath of the Wild, basically. Uh, bloop. Sup? I think this will be a somewhat friendlier introduction to motion controls than uh, Metroid Prime was, just because this game is still like, you walk around with the joystick and you do your thing, oh, I can turn the camera with my joy with my controller hand instead of using the motion controls. In fact, the motion controls don't seem to look around the camera. Yeah, the, the motion controls don't seem to control the camera at all. Okay. Because in Metroid Prime, that was a full Metroidvania where you were aiming and shooting and looking around at all times via motion controls while the game had an FOV of like 30, it felt like. It was like chokingly narrow. And it was kind of a rough way to get used to motion controls. But this game, it's like I'm still running around with a joystick and I don't even have to use the motion controls to look around. It's like, that's kind of nice. That'll be a little easier for me. This is like my second Wii game ever. I got five roops. And there's a I bet there's a bunch of Easter egg stuff in there. Can I look in there again, actually? There's a, there's a plushie of the bird we just saw, but oh, the red one, I guess. Got a bag, got like a sports flag, wooden sword. Somewhat frustratingly, you can't see much of it past Link. I mean, box. <laughs> you thought you'd be reading a book? Excuse me? No, he's just gonna sit there and do nothing. Absolutely nothing. The, al the aliasing is pretty severe. You can definitely see that this was like a 480p game. Which is surprising because it's so recent, but like it's the second most recent Zelda game, but that's just where the Wii was technologically. Yeah. Morning, Bo. So, today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think I could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so, you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. My name's Pippet, and I look more like- I currently look more like Link than you do. He's framing me as a character to look up to and aspire to be, because everyone playing this game wants to be Link, but I don't look like Link right now, even though I look like Link. Like, my, my, biologically, I look like Link, but costume-wise, uh, there's only this, the most minor suggestion of, of, uh, of the green tunic. In fact, it's pretty much to the bottom half. I've got the boots, and I've got the green pants, and then nothing else quite looks right. Suggesting that I am currently half the man that I'm going to become at some point. I don't know. Or I'm just reading into a lot. But, you know, there's, there's usually... A, if there's anything to read into, it's usually character designs. Character designs tend to be where a lot of attention is given to things. Some, I do kind of dig the idea of, like, over time, become like, living up to the reputation of Zelda and so on. Like, the franchise, I mean. And being Link of each game. Is that kind of something you earn? And so, like, just like how you get the Master Sword by finding it and whatnot and doing a passing rites of some sort. You also kind of, like, earn your way into actually looking like the character again. Wow, you really can't see his face with these graphics very well, can you? Let's see. There we go. It's a bit of a better angle. Uh, it's 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 kind of a bummer. They they make these really beautiful games, but they definitely age in resolution primarily. Like we saw how much Twilight Princess and Wind Waker really benefited from being having HD remakes, and like they could have pretty much just gotten away with giving us an HD resolution and called it a day, and that would have been most of the work. Uh, and this one could could definitely do with a similar treatment. 
because that's some heavy pixelization of a of, of like really good art that I want to see better. Hey, Box. The day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what you've learned to use. All those practical skills I taught you, and all the academic prowess Instructor Horwell taught you. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using C? Press C when you want to take a look around at your surroundings. If you, fe uh, if you feel as though the cursor has moved out of alignment, press the Wii remote to the screen. <laughs> press down. All right. Oh, right, so that's where C- Oh! Not gonna lie, when you tell me C, I don't actually know what you mean at first glance. Because it's the Wii. I forgot there was a button above the trigger. I'm actually gonna benefit from having these on-screen prompts that tell me what the controller looks like and how it works. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm meeting that person right now. This is my room. Hey, okay, Colin and Scritch? Stritch. Stritch. What an easy name to say. Uh, good morning, Bo. Uh, t today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I... I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Bo Box, but I, I, I guess that's the way it is. Uh, go out there and wow them, buddy. Cat! Cat! That's fucking right. <laughs> so you, have use, you have to do a, wa a, wa a waggle to do one of those. It's the toilet! Alright. Excuse me. The Occupado. Would they hide something in here? Oh my god, it actually flushed. I guess he actually did use the toilet. I just kind of... Toilets have never been the same since Majora's Mask. It's just... I'm like, alright, what do I need to offer to the toilet god? Mr. Handy. What do you think you're doing? You better clean that up. Yeah, I'm a bad person. Thankfully, my problems go away on their own and do not offer any consequences to me. So I am A-OK. -okay. Hmm. Where in the clouds is that fledge boy? He's supposed to be bringing me barrels. Something I just don't know. Sometimes I just don't know what's going on in that boy's head. Well, Fledge is currently probably sleeping. Anyway, I'm gonna break more of your shit. Yeah. I have no morals. Only pots. I don't know if it actually changes anything, but I'm playing the international edition of the game. So it has, like, UAE branding on the cover. <laughs> but it plays on US Wii's, so... meh. And it's in English, so... meh. What? BRB. Must. Gold farm. There we go. <laughs> no. Okay, it stopped. 
I was like, you cannot show me an entire cutscene every time I pick up a rupee in this game. There's no way. It scared me. I guess it was just my first time picking up a one rupee. I guess that makes sense. Ta da! Oh. A box up here! Good morning to you, Box. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Look this way while pressing and holding Z. Then press A to have a quick chat with me. Z target. Excellent. Always remember you can press Z to target something. Once you have targeted someone with Z, you can easily talk to him or her by pressing A. Even when there isn't anything to target, pressing Z is a convenient way to in uh, quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation with this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? You should be able to climb up if you dash the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Move while holding A to dash. You should be able to make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Right after I change the setting. No. Ooh, look at my little boxer in my hand. What does that do? Help? No. Here. Yeah. 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 Alright. You, 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 you swish to change hands. Is it in here? Where is the settings menu in this game? N minus doesn't do anything. Shit. Okay. Did not mean to do that, but okay. Whoopsie. No! Uh, that's, that's really out. There we go. I was like, please, please recenter. Uh, I guess I don't get to have a settings menu. Oh. <coughs> I like to have uh, Z targeting set to toggle, but maybe that's just not a feature. So what do you think? Using A to dash is useful, isn't it? However, don't dash around so much that you tire yourself out, or your stamina gauge will empty, and you'll be completely out of breath. It's best to take a little break when your stamina gauge gets close to empty. Got all that? Now on to the next point. You can jump a short distance like this just by moving towards it. I like to call it the auto jump. Ah, yes, auto jump. It has a nice ring to it. I. Yes, I played. Is there, is there. I've played Zelda before button. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird racing practice in this morning box? Uh? You have someone to meet. Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gaiapora, has a pet named Mia. And, well, she scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? The Headmaster's so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and, well... You see. Will you come help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? I have no standards or self-respect, so I'll do everything for everyone, all the time. Fantastic, so you'll do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off that ledge over there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Please do obstacle courses for me. Please. 
What's in here? No. Nope, there we go. Ooh. You can, like wag you can waggle to get to go a little further. Let's take a little getting used to. Okay, so you do have the stamina meter to worry about, which means you can be in serious trouble if you're not careful. So don't go running before you do platforming. Hey, Bucks! I don't care how good a jumper you think you are, you'll never reach a roof that high by pressing A to dash. There should be a wooden box up there. Grab a move it with A and use it as a platform of sorts. You can climb onto a platform by pressing A to dash, or by pressing joystick for a few moments. I must be going this way. Is there anything over here? I think that's just the exit, because I can drop down that way. What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, you're like a chinchilla cat. Not chinchilla. I think of something else. I can't think of what it is right now. He's trippy. It's making adorable sounds every few seconds, but it's probably it probably translates to Put me down. Ooh. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're busy, Box. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Why don't I just bring the pet? I'm going there. I believe Zelda's there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh, that's a face. Morden Box? How's life? Did you manage to get even a week of sleep last night? Figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the bird statue over there and say a short prayer to save your progress. As you know, these bird statues are all over Skyloft. It's about time you get in the habit of stopping at a statue every now and then to run by one. <laughs> a prayer in time saves nine, if you know what I'm saying. Like nine lives? Like a cat? Stamina fruit. When it's when it's yellow, it's actually like slightly hard to read. It replenishes my stamina gauge. So I'll just like be running through like a field and I'll just be picking those up as I go. And it'll be like auto filling it. So like I go. Yep. Oh I feel like I was baited into that a little bit. <laughs> Watch your step there. You can't always depend on knights like me to swoop in and save you. See that? Yeah, that's that's the color I was expecting. A gray one. See, like that, that type of bird basically exists. There's like a gif that goes around a lot of like the of like one of them like turning their head towards the camera. Let's use just like a reaction image. You, you, but you guys are the ones that made the controls this way. Huh? You can't climb that? You guys made it so that the running button is also the yeet yourself off a cliff over, over a ledge button. Like, it didn't have to be that way. Well, they did make a console with, like, two bu buttons. It's not great. It's not- it's a little limiting.
Good morning, Box. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. You kinda suck, huh? But look at this instrument. And look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it and he says that it's called a harp. You don't know what it is? You already know how to play it, but you never- you don't even know what it's called? <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself. We get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm gonna make a great goddess today. I got up early this morning because I wanted to be the first- I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Box. <laughs> How do I look? Great! Huh, <laughs> I think so too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Box. Ah, oh, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Box. You're here too. Outstanding. I need to reach a high shelf. <laughs> it's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony has you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Box hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. He really just kind of sucks. All the time. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking, he's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know them to be better than to fret about him. You see, Box and his loft wings share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. But I'm going to explain this to you anyway. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, and I'm, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but the first meeting between Box and his Loftwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a Crimson Loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Box and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. So basically he's the kind of person that succeeds at things with no particular effort and then is rewarded for his lack of effort, ensuring that he will continue to not try. Hooray. <laughs> 
And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with this bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Nah. But who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Box and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty look sooner or later. Hoo hoo! Cause I look like an owl, do you get it? This contest is nothing to laugh at. This contest is nothing to laugh at, father! This ceremony is part of the final test of those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Box doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Box messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Box. <laughs> she said, hey, and the line, the first line, the word that it said is, listen. <laughs> listen, Box, you'd better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. It's all coming flooding back. It's all coming flooding back. It's just the weird mess that the Wii U is. <laughs> I know I've been here before, but I just gotta remind you guys that on the Wii U, if you, th th they put a sensor bar on the Wii U gamepad. It's right there. It, it's a genius move. It's great. Thank you for putting a sensor bar on the Wii U gamepad so that I can play motion controls with the Wii U gamepad, especially since the Wii U gamepad's mo uh, sensor is like designed for closer range, so like the normal sensor bar requires you to be like sitting on a couch across from a TV and it's like you gotta be far away, but the sensor bar can be played at relatively close range and that's great. But, the sensor bar only turns on when you're in Wii mode and not when you're in Wii U mode. But And, and like that makes perfect sense in a vacuum with no additional context, you're like, yeah. You turn it on, you, 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 when you want to use the Wii sensor bar, you gotta be in the Wii mode. That makes sense, it's designed for for when you're doing Wii. Obviously, cool, yeah, makes sense. And I'm sure there's other contexts where it manually turns on and so on too. Here's, but then, when you want to launch into the Wii uh, dashboard, you have to pass a test. See, before they let you into the Wii U, they want to check, like, are you sure you have motion controls? And you gotta be like, yes, Daddy Nintendo, here it is! And you sh and you use your, your fucking uh, motion controls to get past that menu, which is only usable with motion controls. No buttons will work to get past that menu. And like, once again, that makes perfect sense in a vacuum. You're like, oh, okay. You, in order to in order to get into the Wii, you need to have motion controls because the Wii was exclusively controlled by these motion controls controllers and whatnot. So like, sure, okay, that I see why you would do that, but do you see the contradiction? You need motion controls to get into the Wii menu, but the Wii menu is also what turns on the sensor bar on the gamepad. So if you're trying to use the gamepad sensor bar, you need a separate uh, motion sensor that's already turned on and use that one to get from the Wii U menu to the Wii menu, at which point the sensor bar on the gamepad controller actually turns on and lets you use motion controls in the Wii menu. Like, you cannot get here, where I am right now, without having a separate sensor bar besides the one on the gamepad, so then what is the use case for the gamepad one? Surely they made the gamepad one with the implication that you would want to just use the one on the gamepad, 
if that was what you're setting out to use. So why make it so that the only way to get there is to use a different sensor bar first on the way there? Especially if you're like, say for example, your parents have the TV right now or whatever, and you specifically like want to use the gamepad and the motion controls and everything in like the gamepad and TV mode where you can play the entire game and on the gamepad screen and not have to use the TV at all. You think that then you would want to be able to get into that whole process without it being like, Mom, Dad, I need to change the channel off of the thing you're watching and switch to TV mode and then plug in this other motion sensor and then use my Wii mode to point it at the motion sensor to enter Wii U mode and then you can switch it back to like daytime whatever the fuck you're watching and I can go and I can play on my handheld thing like I I can see because I said how the two things make sense in a vacuum I can see how you would do this the first time when you launch it and then be like what have we done I don't see how a, this console's like five or six years old and it's still a problem <laughs> how did they never fix that the console's dead now so it's definitely never getting fixed now oh god all right, well, anyway, fucking Skyward Sword. So, there was a pause where I was gonna play the, like this game one, and then I was gonna cover it, and then it just didn't happen, and people are probably wondering, like, what's wrong? What happened there? And what happened is the same thing that happened with the, uh, with Metroid, when Metroid Trilogy won, which is that this is another Nintendo problem, I'm sorry, but these consoles being kind of bad, especially this console in particular, is just inextricably tied to these playthroughs, and it's just part of the narrative going on behind how this all happens. So the Wii U is still bad for another reason, which is that uh, it shipped with a tiny hard drive, and if you try to download games like Skyward Sword or Metroid Prime Trilogy, you'll met with an error that says, you can't download this, it's too big, you need additional storage. And then you're like, okay, this is fine. It's knowing that your hard drive was a tiny baby hard drive, but at least you have an SD card slot, right? No. The SD card slot can only be used to transfer saves and screenshots, not data. You can't use it for storage data. Like, what the fuck? You need to have a portable external hard drive in order to expand the storage data on your Wii U? And like, we've been down this whole thing. You can look at my video called uh, Why the Wii U uh, maybe deserved to fail or whatever it's called and it's kind of an incendiary title but it's where I was emotionally at the time <laughs> and you can see the big extended podcast of me and why that whole journey didn't work out for me but uh, anyway I eventually gave up and bought a Metroid Prime Trilogy and I had to do it online because I went to every single local like secondhand store I could get a hand of for several towns in every direction and I couldn't find a single copy of Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Wii so I had to order it online and wait for it to arrive. And that's what happened here. Minus all of the steps in between that happened last time, because this time I knew not to do any of those things. So once I saw that it, that this game wasn't going to fit, and I couldn't download it and buy it digitally, I was like, all right, we'll skip to the next steps. We'll skip past all the stupid steps that I learned the hard way. So this time I just I went to every store, slash called the ones I could and so on, and tried to see if any of the local GameStop still had Skyward Sword. And then I tried all of the different like secondhand stores that are like an hour in every direction from where I live. And none of those people had a copy of Skyward Sword, which kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting Skyward Sword to be a hard to get game already. But apparently it is. I guess it must be out of print, like, entirely or something. In part, maybe because it's available digitally, but only if you have, like, a good Wii U and not the one that I got that they had at launch. Uh, so I, once again, had to order it online. So that's why there was the multi-day delay be be before between when this started, when this was chosen, and then, like, awkwardly, like, I just, like, sorry, guys, no videos for a few days. Uh, I was waiting for Skyward Sword to arrive. The one additional detail being that fucking Labor Day happened, because of course it did, so <laughs> that delayed it additionally by not ha because there was no mail. <laughs> so that just, it, it's amazing how lucky I am in many cases. There are, things can just like stack up like that. Uh, so this is the infamous Skyward Sword. I don't know that much about it. I know that Fee exists because... I played Skyward, uh, I played Hyrule Warriors, so I think I've seen, like, the enemy boss design and the ally design, but without much story context, because I played Hyrule Warriors before I played any of the 3D Zeldas, funnily. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. Uh, we're good.
I, we're good. Connect the Wii Remote, Nunchuck, and the Wii Motion Plus. This one says Wii Motion Plus inside. I have Wii Motion Plus. Do I have to unplug it and plug it back in? Are you okay, Nintendo? Why is why is why are why are these consoles so hard to use? <laughs> That's one of my takeaways right now. Where I'm just like, bro, these are meant for, these are family consoles. They're meant to be like plug and play, easy to use, for, fun for the whole family and kids, and you share it throughout the household. And it's, it's supposed to be really accessible. Why are these so hard? What am I doing wrong? Connect the Wii remote nun and nunchuck. The Wii Motion Plus accessory. It has Wii Motion Plus inside. There is no accessory. Wait a few moments without touching the control stick. Am I about to have to troubleshoot this shit? Am I about to have to Google how to get past the screen? I'm about to have to Google how to get past the screen. Okay, I thought the story was over. But no, Nintendo consoles fucking are always back with a vengeance. I remember when I got the Wii U on launch day, and its fucking update took 12 hours. You had to plug it in and wait 12 hours for it to start working as a console. I was like, what the fuck? And you couldn't play it. There was no, like, don't update it option. Wii Remote Settings. Reconnect. Press 1 and 2 on each re remote in the desired player, okay? Is it... Oop. We good? I actually, I don't even know if this is going to do anything. Honestly. Uh, just kind of hoping. How do I leave? Oh, there we go. Oh, place on a flat service. Okay. Hey, I just reconnect. Okay. 